Hi all, this is a short video explaining how you can initiate mid project updates in the newest language cloud update. So I've prepared a project already here, so this was a normal project that was created. Um, so you can see it's in flight, um, you can see the cost is around 95 euros. Um, and if we look at the stages, you can see that um, tasks are in different stages assigned to various people. Um, What's new now is we can actually, um, as a project management team, um, go into um, Language Cloud into the Files view. And you will see there's a new button that was introduced called Update Files. Um, if we click this button, we can now um, submit an additional um, set of files um, to this project. So this feature right now is focused on um, new files, so not pre-existing files, which is a bit more complicated. Um, so this is for additional files that maybe were missed from the initial drop or the customer um, provided at a later stage. So I can drag or and drop or just upload a file. Um, so um, I'll take this as an example, one file that, that was missed. I can specify in here um, if it's a translatable um, or reference file. So I can also attach additional reference files. Um, and I can essentially now um, update this. Um, so this can be one or more files. We'll just use one file in this example. What will happen now is essentially it will reuse all the same project settings and workflows that are um, configured um, in this project and it will initiate um, a parallel workflow um, that, that will start in this project. So you can see the notification. We successfully started a, a new workflow um, you can see at the bottom here, we introduced a new concept of batches. So you can see all the files that were initially in the project are batch one, then this new source files we submitted as batch two. So if we now switch to the stages view, um, what we will see is that um, a new workflow has started and um, the file will go through the workflow. So you see we caught it here. We now see uh, additional information. This is batch two versus batch one. Um, this is currently in uh, machine translation. If we refresh, we will see that um, it will go through the workflow. Um, and eventually it will reach um, the first human step um, as configured in the workflow. So if we look at the workflow, you can see it's currently configured to have um, a quote generation and a quote review um, as the first workflow steps. So we decided to keep it simple and just follow the, the existing workflow. Um, and so what will happen now is um, it will go um, through the workflow in, in parallel. All these files that are already in flight, they, um, they don't get um, impacted. So you can see here now we have a customer quote review task. Um, and essentially what we do is we, we update, update the original quote um, with, the, with the additional files that, that were provided. Um, depending on the workflow, this can go back to the customer for approval or not. Um, in our example, um, we, we chose um, not to, so it's just um, a regular customer review. So I can, um, I can now select um, this customer quote review. Um, I'll just complete the task for um, for speed reasons, um, and then as it goes from from customer quote review, it will go into into planning, which is the next human task. Um, again, um, it will use all the same reassignments that uh, assignments that were pre-configured in the workflow, so it will assign these um, to the same um, users as before. So once we go past this, we will now see that um, it will start creating um, some translation tasks um, in here which, with the new batch, um, batch 2 file. If we look at the reports, um, so what you'll see is that um, the analysis report will get updated with the additional um, file that we provided um, and also the quote um, is updated um, with additional costs based on this um, you drop. So um, you can see that um, the 95 euros has now increased to 172 based on the additional file that we have provided. Um, if we go to the files view, what you'll see again if we refresh here is that now these additional file versions are now um, 
additional batches. Um, also content analysis will get updated with these new files, um, etc. So as I mentioned, um, right now this is on purpose um, very simple. So this is for use cases where um, you get additional files submitted by a customer. Um, we have um, additional items in terms of mid-project updates in the roadmap. Um, one is initiating this mid-project proje uh, update flow from a customer portal so that a customer themselves can in initiate this. Um, and then later in the year um, we'll also be looking at updating existing files to files that are already in translation with someone for example. Um, but this is a more complex issue to solve because um, you need to uh, reconsider um, changes that are in progress, etc. Thanks, I hope this was helpful.